Hey guys, welcome to Freezer Bound Outdoors. Today we are reviewing the Center Point 425 Heat. You guys want speed on a budget? Let's go. All right, guys. Well, Adam and I are back here at uh, Legacy Archery, the shop. Um, if you haven't watched the videos before, my name's Ian. I manage the shop down here. Adam is the guy behind the camera that makes all this magic happen. Um, so today we're doing, and uh, it's going to be an interesting video, this Centerpoint Heat 425. This is more so a budget crossbow that is actually really kind of shocking, and especially get to in a little bit the price of it. So you know you get the three the three bolts with it really nice quiver that can hold up to four bolts um, a nice 4 by 32 center point scope obviously you get the pull ropes with this now it is I do believe somehow some way you can get a crank onto this bow if you can't or if you don't have the ability to use the pull ropes to pull it. so yeah like I had said the heat 425 you're getting a speed up to 425 feet per second the draw weight on this bow is 195 pounds the kinetic energy is coming in right at 160 foot pounds, and that is with the center point bolt and a 100 grain head. You might get different results switching back and forth between bolts. Oh, geez, that even gives you the material limb. So these limbs are made out of, let's see, it says compression fiberglass quad limbs. Uh, you, obviously you get a composite stock, the rail, you know, your riser, your rail right here is all aluminum. Uh, you have an ambidextrous safety to it. The overall weight of this crossbow is coming in right at 7.8 pounds. So, I mean, it's pretty, take it, tote it around the woods, it's fairly lightweight. Overall length of this bow, you're coming in right at 3 foot or 36 inches. And that is also depending on where you have this stock adjusted out to. You can go way short or you can get it out to that longer length if need be. Whenever this bow is fully cocked back or loaded you're looking at a 12 inch axle to axle there so fairly compact and let's see uncocked we are coming in right at 15 and 3 quarters so still again it's fairly compact that you're not lugging it doesn't feel like you're lugging a 2x4 through the woods trying to dodge trees bushes branches anything to that nature you know and like I had mentioned these bolts you know they're a 20 inch half moon knock bolt coming in right at 400 grains from center point so a lot of people might know a lot of people might not know that this bow, this center point bow, is actually made by Raven Crossbows. And I'll tell you what, you see all the good stuff that they make, the speeds that they're getting out of it, the quality is there, and for the money, get ready for it, this bow is retailing coming in right at $399. So you're getting a bow that's shooting 425 foot a second, something that a bow that's going for eight, nine hundred, a thousand, even over a thousand dollars that some of those bows they only shoot 400 foot a second you're getting an extra 25 foot a second out of a bow that's going to be after tax sub 450 bucks so yeah we can uh we'll take this back we'll shoot it a couple of times and i think i have a new battery for the chronograph so maybe we'll run through the chronograph once we'll see yep good Alright, all right, now we have this thing in fully cocked position. Um, one thing that I did forget to mention, I did you know, show that you have the adjustable stock and everything like that. Um, I just kind of noticed this walking back here to the range. This cheek plate is also adjustable, you know, if you can see those two Phillips head screws there. There's two on this side, two on the opposite side too. So you just loosen those so you can really get where you want to, you know, kind of come into that stock and look through the scope at. Um, another kind of neat little feature about this crossbow is that if you look right there in the end of the stock, it's a broadhead wrench, you know. Not, <laughs> unless you're carrying one around in your pocket, there's really not a whole lot of bows or crossbows that have their own little built-in broadhead wrench in case uh, 
you know, one comes loose on you. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shoot this thing and gonna keep us pointed in a safe direction while we load the bolt full way back in here. All right, we're all good. And we're gonna send one into the big shot ballistic 450X crossbow back. I really like about this bow is that with this being the first time I've shot one this has just a really nice just even trigger pull the whole way through I know a couple other brands where it's kind of like you get it so far it sticks and then it go wham you know you're not really ready for it but I really like the center point trigger you know it's just a nice easy just crisp trigger pull right through the, your whole cycle there so uh, yeah I will I'm fairly impressed too with the speed of this bow. Um, we're going to try and rig up the chronograph to get it to work and we will let you know the speed on it. Alright, so we're turning on the chronograph here and uh, you know, hopefully we can get a... This is pretty much... And this is right out of the box for the most part. This bow was built this morning so let's see what we can do. 405, okay. So... Mm, that could be the chronograph too, but who knows? Like I said, this is right out of the box. Um, this bow is rated at 425, and I know it says up to 425 feet a second. So, depending on what bolt you're using, that might mean you could possibly not achieve that. But um, still, 405 foot a second—that's pretty respectable for a bow. That's you know, like I had mentioned earlier, coming in probably sub $450 after tax. Uh, 409. 409. 409. So there it is, the uh, center point heat 425 crossbow.